back to this hoof here that had been shod and because there were a few things in here that I wanted to show you that I was I thought was pretty interesting now what I want to show you is actually the sole now I know this has all been chopped up now and it does make it a bit difficult but what I what I really want you to look at is this sole seems to have like these cracks through it. There's a crack here and there's a crack here. Now I think this is where the bar is coming through here. If I just take it to the side, yeah, there's, there's the bar through there. And so what we're looking at is we're looking at about a quarter of a foot here. So the, the frog would come and end about here where my finger is. So we're missing a whole slice there, but I think you can get your bearings quite well with that. So Let's have a look at the sole and what's actually happening under there because I actually found this really interesting. Well, first of all, those cracks, you see I saw this crack that was through there. Well, that crack actually goes right up to there and there seems to be a crack which is appearing underneath the bar. So that seems to be cracked underneath there. And when I turn it over, you can see that that's where the bar is, which is running across here. And what I thought was pretty interesting was that the layers of sole, you can actually see them quite well in this sample. If I zoom in for you, and you might have heard the term exfoliating sole and live sole, and I think that's what we're seeing here. I think that this layer here, and you can see it's a real layer, isn't it? I can see like this layer here and there's another like two bits layers through there. There's that layer here. And then we've got this part here. And I think that that's what they talk about when they talk about exfoliating sole or dead sole. But you see, if we took this sole off here, then that would leave us with not a very thick sole, not a very thick live sole. This is about five mil, this part here. Whereas if we look at the hole, this is about a centimeter, maybe a centimeter 25, and this is about a centimeter deep. But I can actually pick this off really easily. See how this is really just crumbly. And I'm just picking it with my, with my nail. And it's just crumbling off, look. Now this could be freezer that's caused this to crumble because you know it's like when you get ice in cracks in rocks the ice opens it up and um, then you get the cracks in the rocks and the rocks then can shatter so it could be that these cracks were here when I first got this hoof and I wondered what was going on there and I can actually get my thumb now and I reckon I could pull that off it's starting to pull off really easily now this was a shod horse, so I suppose my question would be, is this like this because the horse was shod? Is it like that because the sole is not touching the ground? Because you've got to imagine there's going to be another piece of um, metal about that sort of uh, height that's sitting there on this hoof wall, which is going to lift this right up out off of the ground. And so I can't see how this is going to get exfoliated with a shoe on. And maybe that's what's happening here. Maybe that's why we've got all these cracks through the sole and um, why it's just breaking off really easily. Let's have another look at uh, the next slice to that. And look, that's very, very similar. If you have a look, you can see the, the lines in the sole are really quite clear, aren't they? Can you see that line through there? And there's another line through there. Now this is almost to the side now. So we're looking at quite a different presentation. Yes, that's a, that's a ligament through there. You can see that quite nicely because you can see the strands of, of that through the, through the side there. And there's a remnant of the digital cushion here. And there's a little bit of the cartilage through there at the at the back there and we're just starting to see the cartilage is starting to appear in this presentation here and there's a tiny little remnant of the coffin bone through here let's have a look at the other side and and it's the same thing you can see these cracks through the sole 
and I think this whole thing would come off quite easily through there. And I suppose if you did exfoliate this sole, then um, the horse would be quite sore because it wouldn't have this protection and so would probably have to have its shoes popped back on to give it that height to stop that sole from hitting the ground until it, until it grew stronger. <laughs> 